Connecting a Bluetooth controller to DJ Pro is super easy and fun. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about using a Bluetooth controller with DJ Pro, including how to use headphones for pre-queuing. Number one is with a Bluetooth controller, it is not going to have to be plugged into the iPad, but it is going to have to be plugged into a power source. So either plugged into the wall or if you get a good portable battery system or something like that, then you could basically bring it anywhere, but the controller needs to be powered by something besides your device. So this controller uses a USB-C power cord, which you're probably gonna, already going to have if you have a MacBook or an iPad, which is cool. So we're just gonna plug it in to this side where it says USB. And now we see it light up. So now the controller is powered on, but it is not connected to our iPad. So to connect the Bluetooth into your iPad, what we have to do is go to our settings and then go to Bluetooth. Oh wait, no, it's not there. This is not how you do it. I remember when the Bluetooth controller first came out, which was the DDJ200, I went to the DJ store to go test it out and not even the people that work there were able to connect it because I kept trying to connect it through my settings. It is not through your iPad settings. It is going to be through the DJ Pro settings. So we're gonna press this middle button here. And then if you're in modes, you're gonna have to go over here to the right to settings. And now in settings, we are gonna go to MIDI devices. This is where you map your controllers and anything you need to know about controllers and hardware. So. Where, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down the third one down, which is Bluetooth MIDI devices. And then now we're going to see if your controller is plugged in and in range, you are going to see your controller. DJ control mix input output. We are going to press it. And now it's connecting. And now we are connected to our Bluetooth controller. We see that our controller is connected with Bluetooth. So right now, this controller is connected to the iPad. It is controlling the iPad. So there is no no latency with these Bluetooth controllers. It's similar to using a like an Xbox controller or something to play Call of Duty. You, if you play games, you know that there will be no latency with the controller. So that is how it is. There is no latency and you could DJ like this. And right now, this controller is hooked up to the iPad, and then the audio is coming out of this Bluetooth speaker. So it's completely wireless. There is a downside of doing this. Now, with the Bluetooth speaker, there is going to be latency. So you could still DJ, but you're going to have to change your DJ style. So instead of, you're not going to be able to really scratch or add samples and be on beat with stuff because of the slight delay makes it almost impossible. But if you're just casually DJing or DJing for fun or nothing crazy, then this is perfectly fine and you could still DJ and mix your songs together. You just have to do different transitions. But now what happens if you want to use this without latency to the speakers and if you want to use it to pre-cue with your headphones? So here's what you're going to have to do and it's going to require a lot of adapters. That's why I recommend using non-Bluetooth controllers, but here's how you do it. First of all, if you're using a USB-C iPad with no headphone jack, you're going to need one of these. What this does is it goes into the USB-C and then gives us a headphone port. And most importantly, it charges the iPad. You could get them that don't charge the iPad, but then you're not going to really be able to DJ for a long time if your iPad runs out of battery. So we're going to plug this in. So that's one adapter. Plug that in. Plug in the charger. So now it's charging and we have an audio cable, but if we want to, if you were just going to connect it to the speaker, all you would have to do is plug your audio cable in here and then plug it into your speaker. But if you wanted to use headphones, which makes DJing a lot more fun and easy, then we are going to need something else. This is the headphone splitter. This comes in the box with the control mix DJ controller. 
or you could get one online. I'll leave a link down below. Tractor makes a pretty good one, but not all cables that look like this and have the same connections are going to be able to split your output for DJing. It has to be specifically made for DJing. Plug this into here. And now we have two options. So one of these is going to go to our main output. One of them is going to go to our headphones. So now we have audio adapter in our iPad. We have, have splitter cable into that audio cable. We have our audio cable going to our speakers and then our headphone going over to our head, going to our headphones. Now we just have to do one more thing. We're going to press the middle button and then we are going to go to audio devices. This is different from the last update. So pay attention. We're going to go to audio devices. And then now we're going to go to pre-queuing. And then with pre-queuing, we're going to press split output. So you have to have split output on in order to use the output splitter headphone cable. So now, so now we are connected to a speaker hardwired. Our controller is connected and we're using our headphones and there's no latency at all. The only issue is make sure you don't bump into these adapters because you have three adapters. So there's a lot that can go wrong. Sometimes if I'm using this setup for professional gigs, I'll just put a little piece of black electrical tape over these connections just to make sure that they stay where I want them to stay. Now, a lot of questions that I get asked, the most common question I get asked is, can I use Bluetooth headphones and a Bluetooth speaker? And the answer is no. The only way to pre-queue with headphones with a controller that is Bluetooth, or if you're just using the iPad, is to hardwire it in with the headphone splitter. So if you guys want to learn more about, about connecting, about using the headphone splitter cable, check out this video tutorial where I made a whole video on it.